Ghostly greetings and hi, your boy Prue. We're doing Dark Woods by Jay Kumar. Jay Kumar is an outdoor enthusiast like myself who loves Sasquatch, like myself, or the best I can tell from this wonderful dark novel. This was sent to me by Lost Cunningham when I want to give away for Spooky Noodles book Grey Matter. Uh, unless Spooky Noodles doesn't want me to know that's him. So that could be anyone's book. Who knows? It is a mystery. There you go. Cover up. So, <laughs> awesome. Let's get into it, though. I, again, I want to thank Lost Cunningham for sending me this when we did some giveaways. Uh, he did a giveaway. I won. He sent me some books. And I'm a bit of a cryptozoologist, a cryptid hunter. I enjoy urban legends. And for American Horror Stories, the book challenge I started, um, all challenges, seasons, all one book per season of American Horror Story. Uh, part six or seven, part seven is called Roanoke which is about the Roanoke Island. So I did Urban Legend. And one of the Urban Legends I really enjoy is Sasquatch. I'm kind of tall, kind of thick, and I'm a little bearded. That's the only part of my body that really gets hair there. But I have an amazing beard. So we're going to talk about Sasquatch for American Horror Stories Challenge, Roanoke. I'm doing Urban Legend. All right, that's cool. Let's get into the story. We'll talk about the challenge. We'll talk about plot, characters, and all that malarkey soon. We're in about two mi an hour, minute and a half in, so let's get to it. All right. So Dark Woods takes place with a guy named Vaughn. Vaughn is the sheriff of a town and gets a call one day from a lumber mill. Timber mill, lumber mill, I don't know if there's a difference. He's like, yo, some dead deers are found. Come out and get it. So him and his buddy roll up. Deers are dead. He shoots the thing. And uh, he wounds it. His buddy gets in the hospital. They got to take him out and call his wife. So when Vaughn goes back, him and some other people rally up. I don't want to say who because it's a bit of a spoiler. Rally up. Go hunt the thing. Find out there's another thing. The thing gets you. Obviously, the thing is a Sasquatch. I've already spoiled that. I'm sorry. But it's a very cool, easy plot for a Sasquatch book. That's the general general premise. Uh, the tagline on this is, Vaughn is hunting. Now there's, now there's only one thing more terrifying than what Frank Vaughn is hunting. It's what's hunting Frank Vaughn. And I thought that was cool. Uh, let's talk about, you know how I do this? I do the plot, give it a grade. Characters, give it a grade. The reading, I call it the adventure, if you will. The the read along, if you will. How, how, how far was, how good was the journey of the read? Ending and uh, overall feeling. So plot, plot I'm giving an a, a, a to, a solid A. It's a quick, good plot. Gets you right into it. You're literally in the shit, page fucking three. So that's good. That's where I like to be. Uh characters this is where the book does take a turn frank vaughn and his friend boone are the only two characters i really recall from the book that i just finished two days ago now there is a few more like this but they were all cookie cutter they none of them really had standout traits like each of them fit into a niche role it had a michael crichton jurassic park feel with the uh, sub characters so i'm gonna give that a b c i'm gonna give that a c plus to a b because there are not very many characters in the book, and half of them I do remember, but the other half are so bad that I just, I can't, not, I can't, uh, the fanboy in me must be like, yeah, they're fucking Sasquatch people, who gives a shit? But the other, the realist in me was like, man, if you don't like Sasquatch, this ain't going to appeal to a lot of people. Uh, so characters, I'm probably going to give a B to. And you're saying, Pruitt, you're just kind of down the characters, say half of them aren't rememberable. Yeah, but the other half I fucking loved. So five out of six, when you, there's six, seven characters and you like three of them, that's not bad. And the other one, you're like, yeah, you're whatever. And then the villain, Sasquatch. So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, the journey, the adventure, the adventure. I like to call it the adventure because it's the event of reading the book. Um, that I'm going to give an A plus to. Jay Kumar either definitely did his research or definitely knows his shit about outdoors hunk, hi, hunking, <laughs> hunting and hiking outside you know he describes certain events like through the thick brush and moving trees and vines and slippery slopes and mud so jay jay kumar definitely is an experienced outdoorsman or did enough research to seem experienced about an outdoorsman which again i thought that was a solid way to do it you're definitely easily getting me immersed into the surroundings of the book which i think are awesome because just the northern woods during a sasquatch hunt which is I've Sasquatch hunted once before, and it's it's basically like this. Only in this instance, you got a gun and shit's trying to kill you. 
The last one, we didn't have a gun, and I hope to God shit wasn't trying to kill us, because then we both did a terrible job, because I made it out, and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And it didn't kill me, so it did a terrible job, too, because I was fat and didn't know what I was doing. All right, uh, the ending. The ending I thought was solid. They definitely like how this definitely seemed like a standalone. I don't know if there's any more, but it ended in a way where you're like, oh, there could be another, but there doesn't got to be. So the ending, I'm going to also give a B to. It's a good ending. It's not blowing me away, but it's definitely not a, hurt, a hindrance to it either. All right, overall, plot was great. Characters were meh. Ending was meh. And reading it was great. So I'm going to give it an A. It's easy to, for a, for a Sasquatch person or someone who likes the outdoors and the fear of the unknown, this is a solid, quick, good read for you. It's fast. Reads quick. It gets you right into it. And you can read a couple chapters. The chapter's are really short. You read them in one setting. It's like you're getting somewhere in the book. The downgrades are the characters you're going to kind of forget about in a few days. And uh, the ending is good, but doesn't blow you away. But I'm giving it an A because of how Jay Kumar described walking in the woods with the characters I did like. It reminded me a little bit of Tolkien's way of writing. No, Tolkien wrote, he wrote a backstory for everything. And you really got attached to like some of the hobbits early on. And then he described like the way they're going through it. Jay Kumar does that to a very lesser degree. He had it, he had the character good and he had the description of his surroundings good enough to where I could easily visualize what was going on in my head. And I like that, immersion is a solid thing. So A for this book for a Sasquatch fan like myself, if you're not a Sasquatch fan, I could see it being a B, B plus. And then I rated it on Goodreads as a five. A lot of people seem to agree with me. It's much better than Frank Peretti's Monster, which is another Sasquatch book I read last year. And I gave that four. So there you go. Uh, it's been your boy Prue. And again, a great, amazing thank you to Timmy Lost Cunningham. This was amazing. You sent me another book about the Mothman. I'm going to read that probably this year, I hope after I can get done with this reading challenge. I'm trying not to get any more challenges or read-alongs going because I want to start knocking down this TBR series. So it's been your boy, Prue. Stay creepy, deuces. And we are good over 50 subscribers. They're like low, mid, low, six, mid 50s to low 60s right now, depending on where we watch it, how I'm hoping this channel grows a bit, which is way more than I ever thought possible. Uh, I, I had to take my channel down at one point because I was getting a lot of very negative people in the comments during the whole political COVID nightmares of early this year. So this channel has already surpassed my other previous channel that I had. So thank you all for that. I loved it. I'm loving what I'm doing and I'm having a lot of fun. It's me, your boy, Prue. Stay creepy.